What's good everyone, Infamous Legacy here and Marvel vs. Capcom, the fighting collection is going to be dropping in 2024. It's featuring a lot of those classic games that we grew up with and I'm excited about this one. So let's go ahead and break this down. <laughs> First up is X-Men Children of the Atom. This game came out in 1994 and it is based off of Street Fighter 2. The game also features a pretty good roster. One of my favorite characters that I loved using in this game was Psylocke and Cyclops. But other characters you guys can also use are Wolverine, Storm, Iceman, Colossus, Spiral, Silver Samurai, Omega Red, Sentinel, Juggernaut, the crossover legend himself, Akuma and Magneto. And a fun fact for you guys, Akuma is part of a lot of different type of fighting games between Marvel vs. Capcom and even the Tekken series. I think he has a storyline in one of the Tekken games, which was pretty dope. And he is one of the most OP characters from the Street Fighter roster. Next up is Marvel Superheroes. It is a sequel to X-Men Children of the Atom. This time with the storyline, we have other Marvel characters coming into this game, helping the X-Men out to defeat some sort of evil force. And that main force was Thanos. The roster is pretty good with this game as well. It came out in 1996, but you can use characters like Captain America, Wolverine, Hulk, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Psylocke, Juggernaut, Blackheart, Shuma, Magneto, and then we also had hidden characters like Dr. Doom, Thanos, and Anita from Darkstalkers. My favorite character from this one was Spider-Man. It is the first Marvel vs. Capcom game where Spider-Man made an appearance. So he was pretty OP to use, especially when we were playing in the arcades back in the days. But this game was the first one to introduce other Marvel characters, not just the X-Men. The third game we have in the Marvel vs. Capcom collection is X-Men vs. Street Fighter. This game also came out in 1996 and it was the first one to introduce the two-on-two -two fights where you can have a tag partner and do those crazy combos and specials. With the character roster, I won't name each character from these rosters, but on the right side you can see the Street Fighter roster and on the left you can see the X-Men roster. My personal favorite characters to use within this one were Gambit, Rogue, and Ken. And you can also see Akuma taking up that final roster spot on the Street Fighter side. But this game right here with the two-on-two -two fights that they introduced, it created a trend for many other fighting games to come. Fourth game we have in the collection is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighters. This one came out in 1997. And it also introduced a crossover assist where you can use Marvel and Street Fighter characters together and have those assisted combos and specials take place. The roster was a pretty good one as well. Again, my favorites were using Ken and Spider-Man with this one. And it also featured Cyber Akuma. That's how OP Akuma was. We had different variations of Akuma in so many different fighting games. Fifth game in the collection is Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. This one featured a star-studded roster from the Capcom side and also included some new Marvel characters. The characters that I personally loved using in this one were Venom, which is my favorite Marvel character of all time. Then we also have War Machine. And on the Capcom side, it featured one of my favorite Marvel vs. Capcom characters ever, the Flying Dragon himself. Strider Hiru and he was a pretty OP fighter to use in this game and the game was also introduced in about 1998 and it was the first Marvel vs. Capcom game we had in the series. The final fighting game we have in the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection is the legendary Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. This game right here was the second Marvel vs. Capcom game in the crossover series featured about 50 plus characters and also introduced the three on three fights where you can have three characters fight another three characters while you tag them in. And it also has a team hyper combo system where you can have all of your characters, all three of your characters use their hyper combos at the same time. 
And when they were using those hyper combos at the same time, I'm telling you right now, there was so much going on your TV screen. It was going crazy. And the arcades were running wild with the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And to end off the video, Marvel and Capcom are going to include The Punisher, which is a beat-em-up game that they worked on together in 1993. I can't personally wait for this collection to come out. It's going to be available on Steam, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation 4. I'll be picking out physical copies for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. You can also listen to the original soundtrack from all the games that are included in the collection. I was actually waiting to pick up an arcade one-up that consisted of all the Marvel vs. Capcom games. But those things are pretty pricey and with this coming out, I can't wait to get it and put it in my library. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to be getting this. And also let me know if you want to see a Let's Play series on the story mode of all these games. And also let me know who your favorite Marvel vs. Capcom character is. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, I'm out. You guys take care. Peace.